Welcome back to Brick System Brothers, guys. Today, Green Grocer is making another appearance. I had a request on the introduction to the project uh, for a closer look at the uh, bricks, specifically the sand green, and how I replaced the 1x8s. So, uh, just going back to that to reference briefly, um, the idea of doing an optimization here was to replace a lot of the expensive parts, as many as I could, and still maintain the original look of the building. Um, for me, that means that I'm going to try to swap out all of the 1x8 sand green pieces for a combination of 1x4s, which are a little more abundant, and 1x6s, which, since there weren't any used in the original green grocer, I would venture to guess that the sand green 1x6 was not in production when this set was developed. Uh, speculation, but you'd, you'd think that they would use 1x6 instead of two 1x3s right next to each other if it was an option. Have to ask Jamie Berard and see if he could give you that information. But today, the 1x6 in sand green is a bit more abundant, especially if you have been able to get it from the Lego store where they actually have had it on the pick and build walls. You can just get a whole cup of sand green 1x4s, sand green 1x6s. Um, and that is what I have been able to do over the past year or so. Um, I did have to get the 1x4s uh, on order. So I actually contacted someone who was closer to a store that had that option and then had them ship it. Um, but the 1x6s I was able to get a hold of here uh, in the Midwest about a year ago and I've kind of been holding on to them. I actually did start another project called Carter Trellis. It was a sand green little townhouse, and that might that might have to um, either get dismantled or get recolored so that I can use the bricks for Green Grocer as I move into this project now. The modular is going to take a little higher priority. So here in studio, I have the original version of the set built up using the 1x8 sand green pieces. And there is a helpful tool. You can select pieces by color. You can select pieces by type. And then you can actually combine those um, with like the Boolean algebra and do type and color. So I'm going to use this selector to highlight all of the sand green 1x8s. And it will also tell you down here in the bottom left corner how many there are in the build. So there's 50 pieces selected. Um, now, if I go back and just click on one of them, it's going to pull the average price from Bricklink and looks like it's going for about $5.30 at the moment. That's kind of pricey for a brick. That means this guy is definitely out of production um, and the demand is high enough to keep that price up. Probably people that are trying to build Green Grocer to the original uh, parts list. So that gets pretty cost prohibitive, again, uh, using our part selector tool. Once we look at all 50 of these, that's almost $300 worth of bricks, just a single part type in that 1x8 sand green brick. You can see most of them are here on the back section and this right hand side if you're looking at it from the front. And then as you wrap your way around to the other side of the building, it uh, gets used less and less as this does narrow up here. Um, and that's where you start to see a lot of the 1x3 bricks start being used. And coincidentally, 1x3 bricks are also somewhat pricey, 51 cents. So not nearly as bad as the 1x8, um, but still a part that I would consider um, trying to swap out as often as possible. Again, when there's two side by side, I'm going to be looking at doing 1x6. Um, and in the case of having uh, 1x3 that kind of needs to be 1x3 for structural purposes, That'll have probably have to stay there, stay in place, um, but you could also look at swapping that out with 1x1 one one and 1x2 one bricks and really um, trying to shift some of that cost away from those more expensive pieces. So the original has 50 1x8s, discontinued part, trying to get that number to zero. 1x4s only uses 41 and most of those are on the opposite side from the 1x8s. Again, the 1x4 is a part that is a little easier to get a hold of. And then 1x3s, there's 54 of those here. As a 50 cent part, that does add up rather quickly to about $30 worth of parts here. So I'm going to be trying to knock that back a little bit as well. 
Um, but of course, the main goal here is to end up with a green grocer that looks pretty true to the original set. Um, that's why I am going to leave in as many of the grooved bricks as I can. Now the original green grocer uses 56 grooved bricks. And looks like we might not get a, a price. Oh yeah, we've got a price here, $5.21. So multiply that by 56 and you get another $300 lot of sand green. This is the one that is going to be the hardest to minimize just because most of them are on the facade of the building and are very visible. So I won't be able to really hide those away or reduce that count. Um, by looking from the bottom, we can actually see that there's a few that are hidden. And those are the ones that I'm going to try to replace with just a regular one by two. Um, but yeah, these vertical stacks are the ones that are visible and they have the groove facing out. So in my case, I'm going to leave those in and try to maintain the visual appearance as much as possible. Yeah, it is gonna cost a little bit to do that, um, but I think the the ability of the green grocer to hold its value uh, can justify that input cost here. And of course, I also just like collecting Lego and having that, that display value with Cafe Corner and these early modulars. So it's not all about uh, necessarily trying to, to have something that doesn't lose value, even though I'm confident green grocer uh, will maintain it. Um, yeah, different different reasons for going this route, and it's within you know it's within the amount of money I'm willing to spend on this kind of modular project, kind of a larger scale project. I'm not going to be doing this all the time, um, maybe kind of on a once a year basis. So Cafe Corner last year, and this guy Green Grocer, 2022. So that's the original set. Uh, again, if I pull up the info screen, a total of 300 lots. It's gonna bring that price up as it gets updated with the stipulation of having used parts and the last six month average, this is about a $900 price tag on the original um, form of Green Grocer. Okay, let's jump over to my optimized building. I have done quite a bit of editing with this guy. Uh, outwardly, looks very similar. This is what I'm going to try to grab the pieces and build. Um, but as you start to work your way around the building, you should notice that a lot of the actual brick layout structure has changed. To accommodate the use of 1x6 and 1x4, that's kind of the priority here. And then the 1x3s, probably not going to be able to move entirely away from that, um, but reducing those where possible. So let's look at some of these. Uh, actually, prices first. 1x6, that is trending at about 27 cents a piece. Um, still, you know, more than the average part is going for in terms of what is a brick cost, what is a Lego brick cost on average. Um, it's closer to 10 cents. So the sand green color here is bumping that up a little bit, um, but it is definitely helping bring it down into the realm of attainability. And again, I personally have these from the Lego store uh, where you can fill up an entire cup a liter of these parts for about $16. That, that math works out to be decent value for this kind of brick. One by four, even lower at 18 cents, and um, successfully removed the use of the one by eight from the green grocer with just these two bricks combination, uh, moving around some one by fours, inserting some one by ones, which are um, you know, well within the standard, down at five cents, and also introducing uh, plain one by two bricks. So the original green grocer, if it needed to use a one by two brick in sand green color, it actually just increased the lot count of the grooved one, even though that groove wasn't visible. And so there's actually no plain one by two bricks in the original set. Um, the plain one by two brick in sand green is much more attainable than the grooved one, so I'm going to just swap those out where possible. And those going for about 10 cents a piece, again, a part that I've had on hand from different bulk lots. Actually more so getting the one by two and one by ones in sand green from these uh, Lego reselling stores, like Bricks and Minifigs, Madhouse of Bricks. Um, that's something that I try to keep an eye out for when I'm picking from the loose table there. 
In terms of quantities, with the 1 by 6, we're looking at 61 of those. And kind of the heat map here, working its way all the way around, um, but heaviest in the right and back sides again, where those 1 by 8s were. So 1 by 6 is doing most of the heavy lifting when it comes to filling in the gaps that were left. And then 1 by 4s. A higher quantity, the original set used 41 and now we're at 76. So adding in quite a few um, to cover where the 1x6s cannot. And you'll see a lot of them that are doubled up here are just directly taking the place of the 1x8s that were in here previously. Um, not every case though, but solid use. I like looking at it from the bottom because you can kind of see the uh, perimeter outline of where they're being used kind of a gap right there, so that must be mostly 1x6s. Yeah, that's all 1x6s stacked in the uh, slightly offset um, staggering. So that's the the quantities themselves. Um, I wanted to, to show this in studio because this really shows the structure better than just a parts list. Um, you can really get a look at where 1x6s and 1x4s kind of get along and mesh from all the way around. I'll kind of just rotate this here. This is definitely not the only way to do it. Um, this is just how it worked out. I actually have the counts of how many 1x6s and 1x4s I have in sand green. And so that's what I was working towards was being able to use what I do have on hand. Um, and in that case, some places where I could have done more 1x4s and just kept going, uh, with using those side by side, I actually wanted to bring that down so that I could use more 1x6s, which I do have on hand. Um, just kind of balancing that out. So that's going to be something that there's a little bit of flexibility if you have more of one part than the other, or maybe you just have a bunch of 1x2s. I mean, it's definitely possible to replace the entire wall structure with just offset 1x2 bricks all the way up. That's going to bump up your part count pretty high. But if that's what you have on hand, um, that's kind of what you want to do when it comes to, you know, how are you going to be able to build something like this without breaking the bank? Or <laughs> you're probably still going to spend some money, but, you know, what do you already have to work with is kind of the main idea that I was trying to get at. And for me, that's a certain amount of 1x6s, about 60 of them, and a certain amount of 1x4s, a few more of those from the Lego store. So that's what it looks like on the model and that's kind of guiding the parts list that I have now that I'm going to be going through and, and rounding these up from my collection. So once I had the studio model I can actually take that directly to Rebrickable and I put it into this parts list called the Green Grocer Checklist um, and just to wrap up this video I'm going to show um, the inventory here. I have this sorted out by color groups. So if we go down to the sand green, that's going to give us a really nice visual for um, the bricks that I ended up with in my new bill of materials. 40 1 by 1 sand green, 14 1 by 2s, 13 1 by 3s, 76 1 by 4s, 61 1 by 6s, and I still need 48 <laughs> 42 1 6 grooved bricks. So that's just going to be the hardest one I think to find and just just gotta focus on tracking those down little by little um, gonna spend a little bit of money to get those but again green grocer the goal here gonna try to do it somewhat compromised but um, certain things that I do want to maintain all the way through the project so um, yeah just generating this list based on the studio model that's one of the things I appreciate about Rubricable is there's a lot of cross compatibility with the different software that's out there um, so again, the offer on the table uh, for me to have this model, the file itself is an IO file, that's the file type, um, probably would be able to host it on BrickSafe and give you guys a link if you want to actually be able to download this. Um, and then from there, you could really just go crazy and, and change these bricks out however you'd like. Um, and it, then you'll be able to take this file itself, and if you have uh, Rebrickable, um, pretty simple to just drop that in and create your own parts list in your own inventory and then um, if you do a little bit of grouping you can kind of see exactly what you're going to need 
and that way you won't have to go off of the original inventory as much and try to figure out you know so the original set has this many um, but I'm gonna reduce it by 20 or however and then try to do all that math uh, without having another reference I think this does a lot for just the ability to to streamline the process of acquiring the parts and, and giving me a good idea of just exactly what I'm going to try to find for this project so a couple of tools here specifically our rubricable website and our studio application I highly recommend both if you are not familiar with either um, yeah, just try them out see if it's something that would be useful for you for your projects a lot of people are still uh, still going strong on the all analog and just building from bricks I, I love doing that too but I have found that the use of the software does help quite a bit when it comes to doing some preparation work for these projects that are a little bit bigger and that I want to put a little bit more effort into on the front end to save me some time and some money so that is just an overview swapping out some of the most expensive pieces in the set specifically the wall structure in those 1x8 sand green bricks just getting rid of those guys completely and working with what I do have on hand so that I can get green grocer going here it's coming it's coming up gonna pick some parts here pretty soon and then we'll get building this guy with actual pieces and you won't have to <laughs> look at the uh, studio screen anymore but yeah do let me know if you want to have access to this this model I can definitely get a link out here and you guys can go crazy and replace all the colors and all the bricks to your heart's content all right thanks for watching we'll be seeing this guy again stay tuned we'll see you next time